The opulent palace belonging to former President Viktor Yanukovych, now a museum, epitomizes the corruption of Ukraine's past. The 2014 uprising and subsequent ouster of Yanukovych was meant to usher in a new generation of clean politics. But the scale of the wealth among Ukraine's lawmakers has left many disillusioned. Basically, we had hundreds of people die at Maidan for the new people to be elected and to come to power. And basically, looking now at the new declarations, you realize that these people are not new. The majority of these people are still there to make money. Ukraine's Prime Minister Vladimir Groisman said that he kept the equivalent of $1.6 million in cash alone at his house. Most Ukrainians knew their lawmakers were hugely wealthy and some kind of amnesty could be agreed on, says Orisia Lutsevich of British policy group Chatham House. I think this will be a benchmark in a way to make sure in the future some of these people don't declare again the massive increase in their wealth. There are suspicions some lawmakers may have overstated their wealth to allow for future corrupt profits. Ukraine's prosecution service must be strengthened to eradicate such corruption, argues Lutsevich. One of the reasons these people were able to amass such wealth is that the judiciary was not working. And Ukraine has over 50 judges that are millionaires. And that is, as I said, the system is uh, like a long route, it's going everywhere. It's not just one body of the government. The European Union insisted that Ukrainian officials disclose their incomes and assets on so-called e-declarations as a condition of financial assistance and potential visa-free travel to the EU. But you should not stop because again it's maybe two or three steps that Ukraine made out of 10 or 20 in order to ensure the change of the system. The United Nations says it's vital that Ukraine prosecutes any corruption discovered through the declarations. I believe the international community, including UN, uh, will be behind uh, Ukraine in these next steps because the declaration is only a first step. What comes after is maybe even more difficult. Ukraine's anti-corruption agency will now attempt to verify the declarations with over 100,000 separate forms to assess. Henry Ridgewell for VUA News, London.